charge the car because okay a couple of things Ed sorry I'm gonna, fi I'm gonna fire these at you um, when I went to get my MG there was a huge price difference. oh yes there is yeah a, a lot more money when you could go for the alternative so if you weigh up the the difference in the you know the cost of running it the fact that you don't have to pay any road tax uh, don't you no and then electricity is a lot cheaper than petrol so yeah. what you save um, in the running costs and the day to day running of it. Yeah. You actually recoup the cost of that, okay. that extra cost. Say one trip from Cardiff to London would cost me, I'm going to say, around about, say, £30 in petrol, right? Okay. So, how much would that cost in electricity if I was to charge it up? Anything between uh, £3 um, and £10. Sometimes a little bit more for the rapid charges on the motorway. Most okay. I've ever paid is £16. Wow. To, to fill up, to charge, to, I should say, fill up, yeah. To fill up, yeah, to fill up, exactly. It's kind of like thing. grades of petrol, isn't it? Or Definitely. different petrol stations. It's like some of it's really expensive where you can go to like the supermarkets, which are cheap. Yeah. Okay, I get exactly. it, I get it. Pay more for the car, but less for petrol. Exactly. And I hate paying for petrol. Oh, so do I, so do I. Yeah. <laughs> if I did a thousand miles a month, how much extra am I looking on my £60 a month electricity bill? So depending on the uh, tariff that you've got, mm -hmm. um, if you have the off-peak tariff, which usually works out to be about five pence okay. per unit, um, that would cost you around £12. Extra £12 per pounds month. extra. Oh, that's not um, bad. And a regular tariff, which is around 16 pence, yeah. um, that would cost you about £45 extra. So the whole month, if I went off-peak, I would be spending an extra £12 on electricity. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. But then you've got to pay for the charger of somewhere else if you were like, yeah. That's okay. right, yes, right. And there are, you know, there's government grants for the chargers, there's government grants towards buying the car. So, there, you know, there is a help there available. Yeah, that's so good, isn't it? Considering I spend like 30 quid on it. Definitely. On a fill-up. On a trip, yeah, yeah on a yeah. fill-up, yeah. Wow. Well, and you don't have places. to pay congestion charges either, exactly, you know, which so I always yeah. have to pay with my car. There we go, <laughs> yeah. So your trips okay. to London are going to get a lot yeah. cheaper. Can you tell us this vehicle, this specification, so what it would be? Sure, this particular car um, will cost £31,995. Uh, that's after the government grant of 2500 to be taken off. So it might seem like a lot, but as we discussed before, the savings that you're yeah. making uh, in petrol and tax and things like that outweigh the, uh, yeah. the cost of the car. It's kind of changing that mentality, isn't it? That you sort of you're going to be saving money in the long run.